Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research and the Borlaug Global Rust Initiative, welcome to the fifth annual technical workshop being held in New Delhi from the 19th to the 22nd of August 2013. We are pleased to have the Honorable President of India inaugurate this workshop in a few moments from now and delighted to have with us dignitaries from far and wide who join us for this ceremony. We extend a warm welcome to all the scientists, academics, policy makers and farmers all over the world working with wheat. This year's workshop, ladies and gentlemen, commemorates the golden jubilee of the father of the Green Revolution and the 1970 Nobel laureate, Dr. Norman Borlaug's first visit to the subcontinent and his successful efforts to improve wheat yields and thereby ensure food security in the region. Dr. Borlaug's maiden visit to India in 1963 set the stage for the subsequent introduction of hardier, high-yielding wheat varieties that resulted in a quantum boost to wheat productivity in India. From a nation that was a net grain importer with a gross domestic yield of around 12 million tons in the 1960s, India has now become the second largest producer of wheat in the world with an unprecedented record yield of almost 94 million tons in 2012. Even though Dr. Borlaug quite literally sowed the seeds for this quantum leap in agricultural productivity, we also should give credit to the unstinting efforts of the scientists and researchers at the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, the Directorate of Wheat Research, and various agricultural universities that provided wheat farmers with new varieties and technical know-how to increase the yields of their crop. Since its establishment in 2005, the Borlaug Global Rust Initiative has continued to work towards a dream for global food security by ensuring that the most consumed food crop in the world, wheat, stays safe from the devastating effects of wheat rusts. BGRI has worked closely with the ICAR to ensure the training of scientists, pathologists, and extension workers to develop and deploy strategies to ensure the safety of India's wheat crop. It is therefore befitting that this year, on the 50th anniversary of Dr. Borlaug's first visit to India in 1963, we are playing host to the fifth BGRI technical workshop. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments, we'll be joined by the esteemed president of India, and I request you to please take your seats and refrain from moving about. Kindly also keep your mobile phones switched off or in the silent mode. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of India, please remain standing for the national anthem. May I now request the Vice Chair, BGRI, and Director of International Programs at Cornell University, Dr. Ronnie Kaufman, to please welcome all our guests. <laughs> 